Hey guys, hope you're fine. Welcome to another episode of Sensei Talks. My name is Zaman, and in this video, I'm gonna explain the very basic G codes. It doesn't matter whether you're working on a CNC milling or a CNC turning. These basic codes are gonna help you on almost every kind of CNC. So sit back, relax, and let's roll. G0, which is also called the rapid interpolation, is generally used to move a tool from one position to another with maximum possible feed rate. This is generally used to reduce the cycle time. For example, on a CNC turning machine, our tool is in the tool turret and our workpiece is in the jaws. So there is a huge gap between our tool and the workpiece. So to move the tool quickly from the tool turret anywhere near the workpiece, we can easily use G0. Similarly, in G01, we can also move our tool from one position to another but with a given feed rate. G01 is basically used while cutting because we can easily control the feed rates in G01. The basic difference in G0 and G01 is that we can control the feed rates in G0 but in G01 we can easily control the feed rates that's why we use G01 while cutting linearly and G0 can only be used to move our tool through positions just to reduce the cycle time. G02 and G03 are basically used to create arcs clockwise or counterclockwise. As you can see, if our tool is at position A and we need to create an arc from position A to B clockwise, we can use G02. Similarly, if you wish to create an arc from position B to position A counterclockwise, we can use G03. The syntax of using G02 or G03 is pretty simple. You can easily type G02 or G03 along with the radius value and the final position of the tool. G04 is basically the dwell time. Sometimes a process required to rotate the tool at a particular position for a few more seconds. It may be done to remove the sharp edges or for a greater finish. That's why we use G04. For example, during deep hole drilling, we need to give our tool extra rotations at the bottom of the drill so we can get clean edges. G17, G18 and G19. These codes are basically used for the selection of planes. It means in our coordinate system, these codes will define the exact plane where we actually need to work. Let us consider a cube with axes x, y, y, z and z, x. So if you wish to work on the x, y axis, we can use g17. Similarly, for x, z axis, we can use g18 and for y, z axis, we can use g19. Coordinate systems are like references. It means if we need to create a program for a part, we need at least one zero point or we can say at least one coordinate system from where we can take dimensions. For example, if we wish to create a program for a cube, we need at least one zero point from where we can take dimensions. But what if we need to create six cubes at a time on a single machine? It is almost impossible to take dimensions from one coordinate system to all six parts. That's why the concept of multiple coordinate system comes into play. From G54 to G59 are used to assign a specific coordinate systems on a part in a single program. G90 and G91 are basically used for absolute and incremental coordinate system. There are basically two types of coordinate systems that are used in a CNC programming. First is the absolute programming system and the second is the incremental programming system. G90 is used for absolute and G91 is used for incremental. In an absolute coordinate system, there is absolutely one origin. It means all the dimensions are taken with reference to one point. But in the incremental coordinate system, when we move to the next point, our previous point becomes the origin. So that was just an overview of the very basic codes that we are gonna use in CNC programming. Also, in my upcoming videos, I'm gonna make a detailed video on each of the codes. So, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.